welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be starting with a question. How many of you have been stuck in a car like this? Right, so today I'm going to be showing you how to fit USB charging sockets. Uh, these can be used to charge tablets, mobile phones, uh, cameras, anything really that's got a, a USB attachment to it. Um, this can be retrofitted very easily using a VSR, voltage sensitive relay. And it's, it's very simple. Um, piece of equipment. Uh, it detects the increase on the vehicle battery and once that gets to a certain voltage it kicks in and then sends the power to the to the units that you've got there basically. But we'll, I'll show you that in a second in the wiring but it can be retrofitted to, to motorhomes, um, to your camper vans, to your car and, and that's the for demonstration purposes only that's what I'm going to be doing it on today on, on my own on my own car. So uh, let's waste no time off to the garage. Right, okay, so into the engine bay, vehicle battery as you can see, um, the VSR, uh, it's very, very, very simple to set up. Um, you've based, on, based, on, on this setup basically we've got three wires, so we've got um, a connection here from the positive terminal of the battery, straight into an inline fuse and straight into the, the first part of the VSR. On the other side here you can see the black wire, that's coming up and we're going straight onto the negative terminal on the vehicle battery. And then there's one more wire on this one, you notice. By the way, this is all gonna be convoluted up. This is just in its rawest form. I've just, just fitted this. So we've got the wire coming through, and this is what's going to the USBs in the back. We've got another inline fuse there, which is coming straight up and into this bank here, number six. Now, for this to run on um, ignition only, You've got two sections, you've got number six and you've got number two. Uh, they're on switched, they're on the switch mode. So as soon as your ignition kicks uh, kicks up, your, your vehicle, uh, vehicle's running, uh, this will detect the voltage increase and them two will then become live. Number four is a permanent live. So I think I've got uh, that on there. So this is a vehicle battery reading on there. Uh, we come to our first bank there. We've got the same reading now. If I move over to number four, as you can see, that is a permanent feed. So we don't want to be using that one. So we're going to be using number six. We could have used either of them, six or two. So that's that's the setup basically. It's just them three wires, and obviously we've got the two inline fuses that are that are must uh, as close as you can to the battery. These inline fuses, luckily they're clipped together, so everything's going to stay nice and neat. I've left enough length on the the wire, and this is going to be tucked right at the back there, so it doesn't get any, uh, affected by any weathering or anything like that. So uh, that's that. I'm going to tidy up under here now. Um, make all these wires covered with convolute and obviously tuck everything back and make everything nice and neat and, and tight in there. Uh, we're going to move now into the back and we'll, we'll cut the holes out and we'll fit the USB chargers. Right, okay, so let's have a look. In the back of the car. So this is where I'm proposing to put these, these sockets. Let's have a quick look. These sockets are going to go down here, sink straight in, I'll drill a couple of holes. Um, I've already pre-wired this, um, I've already unbolted this as well, just for uh, to make it a quick part of the video. So as you can see the wiring's already fed through, we've got a, a positive and a negative there. Looking at the back of this, there's more than enough clearance there to take uh, these two sockets. So that's where I'm thinking of them going. Uh, let's put this on the bench now and uh, we'll drill the holes out and fit the sockets.
So I've got the USB sockets wired in, they're fitted, I've got the centre console back in and that's bolted down. The negative is bolted to one of the bolts that's going down to the chassis so that's how we work with, the, with that one. Uh, I've got the engine running and it's looking good because we've got the blue lights that have come on on the USB. So I've got one of the kids tablets, let's plug this in and test. There we go. We are charging. Great stuff, so let's see what the kids make of this one. You're welcome. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.